All right, hey, I'm Courtney. I'm with Saboski Carpets in Emma City. I'm here to talk about some trends in kitchen and bath. Um, so you can see here, this is our tile room. So everything in here is real tile. This is where we're gonna be for showers, bathroom, floor, the whole works. Um, a lot of people are doing master showers now, all custom. Um, a lot of people like a hot and gloss tile these days. It's a little bit easier to clean than something that has a lot of texture. Um, so we're doing a lot of that, a lot of the marble looks, the classic white marble with like a black or gold vein is really popular. We do tons of that. And then also some of the more traditional marble looks that have that natural look. We're definitely seeing people go a little bit more subtle. We're kind of staying away from really busy accent strips or anything like that. They're also doing the shower floor in a smaller format but the same tile as the shower to keep it really consistent, clean, kind of that spa feel. Um, people like to do the heated floors in their bathroom as well. Um, that's kind of a fun added benefit. And things we always tell customers to remember are you're gonna have your recessed shelves or corner shelves, a bench for ladies, a little area to shave your leg, things that people forget about. <laughs> so all things we can do, lots of fun design, we have seen that blue is kind of a new color coming out. We see a lot of the blue tile, which is kind of fun. And then I'll take you over here to show, we can see here on our showroom floor, we try and do a lot of different design ideas to give people ideas. So the chevron is fun. Um, so this is one of the blue high polish. Hexagon is everywhere. And then a lot of the fun patterns people are really kind of getting a little bit more unique in the powder rooms or kids' bathrooms that are smaller, kind of a fun area to bring in a pop of color. Um, I'll take you to this other room where we have a lot of fun, different shapes and designs. So this is where we kind of call our backsplash or our deco room. So some fun, different designs people are doing as well, where you'll take that classic marble look, but turn it in with a different shape. So you get that classic look with just an added flair marble look, but with a little bit of a flower design or fun, fun things that we're doing. As we're talking about tile, we can talk about a backsplash. Everybody knows the classic three inch by six inch subway. Most people do it in white. People are kind of taking this idea, but going with a different variation where it has a little bit more texture to it. So it has a little bit of that handmade texture. The lines aren't perfectly square, a little bit of color variation. So this is one option. They're doing different sizes, whether it be larger or we've seen a lot of like the two and a half inch by five inch. And then you can do different patterns with these as well. So they're taking that classic subway, but a little different. And I think the newest trend, it hasn't quite hit the Midwest yet, but I think it's coming, is the squares are coming back, which is funny because people are just getting done tearing them out. But if you look at a lot of like celebrity kitchens, they're having these, a lot of color variation, it brings a lot of warmth. So that white kitchen brings in a little bit of warmth. So that's a popular one. Natural stone is always in style. So this is a marble, but they're taking it and putting it in different shapes. So you get the classic, but again, a fun. This is another shape that I think we'll be seeing, seeing a lot. People call it scallops, fish scales, whatever you want to call it. It's a whole, <laughs> whole different uh, trend. But again, marble with some fun shapes. For flooring, you can always do tile. A lot of people are doing vinyl plank, especially during a remodel. Something like this that looks like stone, but is vinyl is gonna make the remodel process a lot easier. It's a click together system. You can kind of see right there. It clicks together. So the installation is a lot easier. It would uh, go over like existing sheet vinyl. So it could be like a one or two day quick, easy remodel. Comes in tons of different colors, styles, and the price point is quite a bit less. People are doing this throughout their home too. So I brought a plank so you can see. It'll have cork on the back, 
That cork helps with sound, it helps with warmth, it is antimicrobial, so if water ever gets underneath, which can happen, no mold. Then the water, I compare it to like outdoor decking. It's a nice thick core locking system. And then the image on top. So this is something people are doing throughout. They're taking it into their kitchens. Or again, we do it all the time for a quick, easy bathroom remodel without tearing out everything and the cost of doing real time. This is like a third of the cost or something like that. I'll take you to the vinyl plank room just so you can see all the choices. So we do have someone shopping. This is the vinyl plank room. So everything in here is vinyl plank. It's all waterproof. I would say mostly wood looks. We do have tile looks. Wood looks in the kitchen are what we probably do the most. People really like to do the same flooring throughout their whole, whole home. During remodels, that's not always the case, but we do a lot of wood look and there's just tons of really nice options. The biggest difference you can see is some of these have a beveled edge, which will give it a more distinct plank visual for something like this that's a square edge where they just butt up right to each other. We're seeing a lot of the natural white oak, kind of that Scandinavian, European classic, really crisp and clean. We're also seeing a trend towards the warmer colors. We're getting away from those really cool grays, the blue grays. People are wanting to bring in that warmth now that they've been stuck at home for a year. They want to feel comfortable, cozy, all those things. Um, and then the last flooring option really for a kitchen would be real wood, which we still do. Yeah, Joe is saying this there. How we had to come in and... We can pit stop here. So this is again all the marble. So tons of really fun mosaic options you can do with marble. The water jet, I will say they're pricey, but if you want to invest, this is something that's timeless and will be around forever. Again, the wood floors. So this is someone who wants the real true beauty of wood, that warmth in their kitchen. Kind of same trends that we see with the vinyl, so that kind of white oak look. But again, those warmer tones. Right now the trend is definitely towards the wider planks, but I think, this is my prediction, in the future we're going to get back to the narrow planks, we're going wide, and I think people are going to go back to the narrow planks. Um, but yeah, those are kind of what we're seeing in our industry. Everyone's different, but that hopefully gives you a little bit of information.